everybody, it's Erin of Scandalous Beauty. Today I'm going to do a makeup tag video. It's the My Makeup Story video um, tag. And I'm going to try and keep it five minutes for these ten questions. That's not going to happen. Okay, number one. How old were you when you started wearing makeup? I started experimenting with makeup when I was about 14. And I started really wearing it when I was 16. Two, how did you get into makeup? This is a long story. What you need to know is that there was a girl at my school who wore full face of makeup every day, which was not allowed because we went to private Catholic school and you were not allowed to visit, you know, wear like visible makeup. And uh, she, her makeup looked amazing. I asked her what it was and she brought in what it was. It was a MAC palette that um, came out every Christmas. And I asked her if I could watch her do her makeup she showed me and then for that Christmas her mother who had to wear flawless corporate makeup every day because she was on TV she bought me uh, my first little Mac bag with an eyeshadow a sable eyeshadow and like an eyeliner and all this kind of stuff and that was how I really I fell in love head over heels with makeup three what are some of your favorite brands I think my favorite brand of all time is probably makeup forever because they make such great quality products and it goes from you know everyday products to products for special effects i mean they've got a really great brand and a really great ethic and danny sands is amazing and very very innovative she's got an awesome team um but other than that um you know i'm a mac girl i gotta uh you know love love mac uh black opal has been a lot of fun wet and wild is scaring me with how good they're getting i used to clown people that wore wet and wild and now i'm like that that vanity palette, that neutral palette, that bad boy is crazy. Five dollars, super pigmented eyeshadow. Even those lipsticks, they're a little drying, but they are awesome. Um, anyway, uh, Becca Cosmetics, amazing makeup, a little overpriced, but amazing. NARS Cosmetics, extremely amazing quality. Uh, there, oh god, there's so many brands. I'm gonna miss some stuff. L'Oreal Hip is awesome. Uh, Milani makes some all right products there's a lot there's a little bit from everybody that's pretty great so what does makeup mean to you cosmetics it's oh what does it mean oh ha what does makeup mean to me um it's just it's, it's expression I think it's it's really awesome it's something that I feel like shouldn't be a crutch but it should be an accessory and that's what I like about it you don't have to wear it all the same way every day uh, Four. if you could well if you could only wear four products on your face what would they be I'm gonna go with concealer mascara lip gloss and I guess um, powder yeah we'll go with that what is your favorite thing about makeup uh, I would say my favorite thing about makeup is um the choices that you have the fact that once you start playing with it and you really understand it you realize how many options that you really have and then from there you know you learn techniques I mean, you can never stop learning you know just understanding blending how complex that can be and packing on product and how shimmers and mats work and color wheels and all that kind of stuff I mean you can never really stop learning and it's such a dense field and it's it's really just a lot of fun so major fan of makeup Number seven, what do you think about drugstore makeup versus high-end makeup? Drugstore makeup had a bad rap for a while. I take that back. To me, it had a bad rap. Because a lot of it was cheap and it was, um, you know, like poorly made. It didn't look good. All the colors seemed to almost be clear with a tint of color. Um, and I always thought, you know, why should I just go for the high-end stuff? Because it's better quality. Now, drugstore makeup is giving high-end makeup a run for its money. Because I can throw on a black opal stick foundation and my face be equally as beat. It will be equally as beat as if I put on a $40 or $50 foundation. Some of the stuff that I've tried on from higher-end brands, you know, I've gone to YSL or Dior, you know, and brands, and I've tried on some of that stuff, and I was like, who would pay $50 for this? Like, that's like throwing your money out the window. You can get something equally as good from the CVS or something, or Dwayne Reed or Rite Aid. I mean, I think drugstore makeup is 
on the come up. Not all of it. Some of it is still cheap and some of it still, you know, is not worth it. But a lot of it is. Um, number eight. What is one tip of advice you can give to a beginner? I would just say you don't need to start off with a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you know, start with a mascara and a lip gloss. And then when you're ready, go to CVS and buy a the Wet n Wild palette I was talking about for $5. You don't have to go and spend, you know, $300 on a beginner's kit. And believe me, I worked for MAC for three years as a freelancer, just a freelancer. But people say all the time, I have no makeup. I need to know where to start. Where do I start? And we sell them three or $400 worth of stuff. And there you have it. Like, you know, they'll be like, okay, this is what I need. And you... Now looking back on that, you don't you don't need all that. Just pace yourself. Get a little bit at a time. Learn about it before you buy it. Don't get sucked into a whole bunch of stuff. Those people at the the counters, a lot of times they they have to talk you into buying stuff. They have goals to meet, quotas to meet, numbers to make, jobs to keep. So that's what I would say. And use YouTube and blogs as a resource for sure. Number nine. What is one makeup trend you never understood? don't understand what's going on <laughs> with these brows like I'm starting to see <laughs> I'm starting to see eyebrow shapes that are out of a freaking children's toy box like people I think in my humble opinion I'm not you know the queen of makeup I don't know everything there is to know about makeup but I don't I don't think that brows necessarily need to be boom in your face like if you want to have your lip as a focal point that's hot if you want your eyes to stand out and be like BAM that's great but when I see your brows before I see the rest of your face that's a lot now there have been times I've definitely had brows that have been you know quite flamboyant people are just getting real out of control with the brow like they'll start the brow like right here they'll start like right here and they'll end like right here and they'll come up like this or they'll be super thick like that like why i can't figure that out and when i see it i'm just like oh okay i just think brows should be understated they should be a key player but not be in your face with it it's nothing wrong to have chiseled bad brows like a brow that you know looks great but I'm gonna link to uh, Nakia from Silver Lips that's her, her name Silver Lips she has the most she has a really really great tutorial on brows on a beautiful chiseled brow that it takes a little bit of effort but it's understated it looks amazing it's not understated it looks like phenomenal but it's not one of those brows where you're like really because some people put a lot of product onto their brows. I don't know. If it happens to be you, I apologize. I don't mean to be rude, but I just don't understand it. So, there you go. Number 10. What do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? The beauty community on YouTube is an excellent resource. I mean, there are so many people with different features, features that match everybody out there in the world. Small eyes, big eyes, big lips, full cheeks, double chins, freaking, you know, receding hairlines, all that kind of stuff. We're all out there to give advice to to help somebody else learn something about makeup or beauty. So I think it's awesome. Um, it's getting a little phony sometimes. You know, a lot of times I'm starting to see people that get products for free. And um, you can tell the product is pretty crappy, um, you know. You might judge it and think, hmm, that doesn't look so great. And the person is, you know, exalting this product like it's the greatest thing ever. Um, I think that's getting a little out of hand. And I think that um, I've noticed, you know, honestly, some of, the, some of the egos are getting a little out of hand. But other than that, like, either way, it's still an awesome place to learn. It's still an awesome place to share. Um, and I think that... It's a lot of fun. You know, while YouTube is still big and people are still using it, it's a lot of fun. And it's, um, 
it's helpful. It's a great resource. So, yeah. So, feel free to jump in. You can do a video response or a regular comment to respond to the makeup tag, uh, my makeup story. And, um... Yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys, hopefully, for a new video. I need to do a tutorial using that Wet n Wild palette, because that thing is freaking great. For real. Freaking great. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.